What up? All right, so it's Memorial Day weekend and big push to get stuff done this three days that I have off. So um, still working on this trench. It's been a bitch uh, because of rocks and actually rented a jackhammer yesterday to help me get through it. Uh, had the propane company come out, the service manager, and look at this and make sure that we're on the same page. I got the permit pulled uh, yesterday. Uh, so almost ready to go, but I got to finish getting the trench to the uh, generator. I got to get it down to 18 inches and I'm hitting a lot of rocks. So I got to work through that this weekend. And I started the trench to the house to replace that line, which I'll show you. And I told the guy, this is going to be, this is going to suck because I got a tree right next to where the old line is. And you'll see the roots. It's, I'm, I'm using hand tools to dig around it. So, cause I don't want to kill the tree. Um, anyway, I'll show you what's up. Okay. So there's the <laughs> trench I've been working on for weeks. Um, you know, I got this first part down to 80, 18 inches, but when, when you get over there closer to that old propane tank, it's not yet. So I'm still, you know, working on that. And then, <clears throat> so there's the, where I started with the hand tools. And you can see, let me get in here, see all the roots. So there's the old propane line, copper, going underneath the, the tree roots there. Um, yeah, so that's fun. Um, so I got to move all these rocks and dig under my path or dig through my path. And anyway, and this tank's going to get replaced. Uh, that's 500 gallon going to upgrade to a thousand. I didn't realize how big the thousand is going to be. The guy told me it's 16 feet long. So you see where that block is right there? That's where one of the legs is going to be for it. So it's going to, it's going to stick out, you know, here somewhere. Uh, but you know, I want that thousand gallons. So, uh, I'm all set for winter because you know, the, the new tank is going to feed the new, the generator and the house and you know, I don't want to be in a pinch. So I'm going to work on that. And then the other project later is to paint the shed here. So, you know, I got all my, my boards on and I got some caulking done and whatever, but, uh, I also need to paint that lattice thing. So, um, that, that's going to be, eh, hopefully I can get that done too. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I got another project too, but I might not get to it since I got the, the jackhammer. Um, I've got out here where apparently there used to be an old wind turbine. Um, but you see those, those pads out there, there's one of them right there. So that is one of the four pads that was for the anchor point for the guy wires for the, for the wind turbine tower. Um, there's another one over there and then you know there's one actually it looks like it i don't know if they dug it up or um it just i don't know man but you can see how thick it is so i want to bust those up since i got the jackhammer there's another one right there and here's the the foundation i guess for the the tower that was here and the and the wiring for it um but yeah that thing's I, uh, when I first saw it, I'm like, oh, maybe I can reuse it, but it's not even level. You know, if you look, it's kind of hard to see, but it's just tilted to one side. So anyway, um, so that's all two of the major projects, um, three, I guess, um, of the list of 30 that I want to do. So anyway, so I'm going to get get at it and try to get it done.
even pickaxe and the rocks still get in the way like I trying to shovel it out you know So now I'm, I'm starting to work on uh, the trench to the house here. So I raked all the gravel back uh, where I'm going to be digging the trench. And now i got to move all these rocks. Ziggy's going to help, I'm sure. Are you going to help, kitty cat? Are you going to help me? Huh? Probably not, huh? No. Useless kitty cat. Say meow. Thank you. Okay, so I just got really lucky. So I was taking it easy. You can see the existing copper line here. And I was taking it easy because I knew it was shallow, but I didn't realize how shallow because I actually hit it with my shovel a couple times. And man, I'm lucky because I don't have a leak. I could have punctured that line and not have propane in my house. That would have been real bad. But anyway, I just checked it with some soapy water. You can see right there, I hit it with my shovel. And I hit it here too. See it right there? There's another spot too, but it wasn't as bad. Man, this line is, what, maybe 10 inches deep? God. So anyway, now I know where it's at. I can dig around it, but that that was very stressful when i saw that because i'm like shit man i think i just screwed myself uh anyway all right well i'm just gonna take it easy i gotta really take it easy through here because that's where all the roots are because i don't want to anyway all right man well i'm just gonna keep going you know it's probably gonna take me all weekend to get this done so Hopefully get the propane company out here in the next couple of weeks. And I'm hoping by the end of June, I'll have the lines replaced and everything signed off and then on to the next big project. So anyway, fun stuff.